day. Huge thunderstorms this morning, but I'm still going out on my lunch break see if we can find some profit to flip on Goodwill <laughs> to see if we can go to Goodwill to flip something online. If y'all join me, let's see what we can find. All right, let's see what they got in the shoes. If you did, if you haven't been here before, my Goodwills are notorious for high price shoes. So see, look, thirty dollars, thirty dollars, right there for these Air Max, and they're not even in great condition. And the red color of the week is green. These Merrells. Oh, those are nice. Those are nice Merrells. Fifteen dollars. I still think those are too high. I still think those are too high. Size nine. J15 800. Looks like 40, 50, 60 are the asking prices. Three listed. And none sold. So. That's why I'm gonna leave them right here. But electronics are my favorite. And golf clubs. We're gonna see if we got any of that up in here. Let's see here. What's that? Tommy Armor 845 60 degree. Five dollars. It's probably just a twenty dollar club right there. Let's see what else they might have. No. Oh, Adams Golf, Ov Ovation, Tungsten, Three Wood, five dollars for that too. Hmm. Nothing's like huge jumping out at me, so we'll leave those behind. Staff Tour Blade. Yeah. Nothing exceptionally wonderful. So let's see what they got in the electronics. What they got here? Oh, that's weird. One says $9.99, one says $15. Okay, here we go. This is a Magnavox VCR. No tape stuck inside. They're about a $30 VCR. And my luck would have it they don't have any price on here so i'm gonna have to ask about it but sometimes asking about it they put massive prices on it but i will still ask about it because again like i said that's at least a 30 dollar vcr here we go here's a hitachi that's not as big 9.99 hopefully they won't put a 9.99 price on my magnavox but we are subject to their will. I'm gonna get it for sure if it's like $7.99 or less, but in truth, the $9.99. I might not get it for $9.99. Hmm. They want $20, no power cord. So how do they know if that thing even works? And they're still, out, they're still asking 20 bucks for it. Is this Lake Crusade? Can't tell. No, it's not. I don't know what that is. Well, this is quite annoying. Curve all the way up here to find nothing good. Look, that says 789G, and that's a yellow sticker. So that should be half price, technically. Oh, sorry. Would you be able to help me get a price on an item that didn't have a price tag? I can't do it. Thank you. Ooh, what is this? The purple GameCube controller? Only $3? If I'm not mistaken, this can be some big money. Maybe 20, 25 bucks, but the control uh, joysticks are not broken. A little bit of like somebody chewed on it maybe but a purple controller we're gonna look that up and see it makes me think that they're hiding or since the GameCube itself somewhere else there you go 
Look at that, 40 bucks. 20 plus shipping. 27.99 with three watchers. So, oh, it's got a clear back. That's not the same one. So, 648 listed. 547 sold. Wow, that looks bad. Not at all when I thought it was. Oh, generic. Here we go, 35, 38. So yeah, picking that up for three bucks. For sure. 12.99. Okay, I'll leave it right here. See, told you. If you have to ask for a price, they put more money on it. They could have had a sale, but no. They chose not to. I'm always looking for free remotes. Well, not free remotes. I'm talking about like loose remotes that don't go with anything else. So I can pair it with something later. I don't see any today. Well, so far I just got a little purple GameCube controller. Let's look up this wedge here. Tommy Armor 845 60 degree. It's got a good bit of rust on it though. 30, 1880. I don't see an exact match. That's close. They're asking $40 right there for that one. 50. Okay, okay, okay. 25 listed. 18 sold. It's not horrible. 30 bucks. There it is right there. 30 bucks. Okay, I'll take it for five. And here's the thing. I gotta figure out how to get that rust off. There's gotta be a way. 20, 20 bucks. Might not be worth it anymore. I don't know. I don't know. I think for five, it's worth taking home. I gotta figure out how to get all that rust off. Actually, I'm gonna do it. I don't wanna do the work. I'm not gonna do all that work for 20 bucks. That isn't worth the work to me. All these weights, five, six dollars a piece. I thought maybe they'd be a, a bundle for six, but no, every individual weight is listed at six or four dollars so no way yeah that's it well this trip pretty much sucks drove all this way for nothing for a purple controller oh look harley davidson harley davidson how much did they price it up how much you want to bet it's not 199 oh it is all right Wow, I am shocked. Fort Benning, Columbus, that's all right. It's still a good one. There might be more, so let's look. Robert Trent Jones Grand National. $10, but it's half price, so it's $5. It's actually a, a good shirt considering this is very local to Columbus. It's in Opelika, Alabama. But Robert Trent Jones has different shirts. I'm sorry, different golf courses throughout the U.S. Ooh, brand new Callaway. $10. Nope. Nike hat for just two dollars. My daughter might actually want that. I'll take it home and see if she does. Another reseller got my attention, and he's also a Bulldog fan. So we got off on a tangent talking about the dogs and the national championship. But I found this awesome Southern Tide polo. It's a size large. I'm looking it over for stains or holes or any imperfections, but overall it looks really decent. These polos will go anywhere between $16 to $20, depending on the right buyer coming along. It's actually a good shirt. Wow. There's another foot joy, but I don't recognize that icon at all. The screen is still half price. But I do not recognize that icon. That logo. 
Ooh, Tommy Bahama. New with tags. White Island Zone 3XLB. Half price of 10. That was original. What was the original price here? $110. Down to 66. Now it's five. Travis Matthews. Travis Matthew, green tag. Five dollars. I think that'll still sell. It doesn't look bad. Another Travis Matthew. But it's a lower price. It's six ninety nine green. Isn't it Green Week? Yeah, Green Week. Another Travis Matthew. Foot Joy. Moore's Hill. Don't know where that is. All right. All right. I think I'm done for the day. I got to head back to work. I see this really neat Jeep. Hello Kitty Jeep. And they want $7.99. Its color is red. It's a remote control Jeep. And it has... It has some sort of, I don't, honestly, I don't, I don't know. I just don't know. I just know it's remote control. It's got to have a battery. It's $7.99. I don't have the remote, but if I did, we're looking at $150 free shipping, $65 plus shipping, $99 plus shipping. Thing is, I don't have any remote. There's like 17 listed, three sold, one remote listed for $40. I think without the remote, it's a no-go. Probably wouldn't sell without the remote anyway. And it's missing the windshield. So, but that's an interesting bolo. Hello Kitty remote control Jeep. These are all the goodies that I found today. And after lunch, I made a sale. A big sale too. TaylorMade M4 driver. Picked this up for $6 a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago now. And it sold, I listed it, let's just say this, I listed it for $125 plus shipping. And it sold today best offer of $113 on Mercari. So, I'm happy. $6 into $113. That's what I was hoping it'd go for, somewhere around $115 because that's what all the others were going for. I was just shooting high. Yeah, I do that sometimes. But, great flip on that one. All right. So let's go over each of these items and see how much I'm going to get. All right, so this hat I'm going to give to my daughter, actually. So that's $2 in the hole already. I'm not going to get back unless she doesn't want it. Travis Matthews polo shirt. That's at least a $25 shirt. Probably going to sell it for $20 to $24. Let's see, I paid $5, half of green. All right, and another Travis Matthews shirt. Again, same thing, $24. Paid half of $7 on that one. Brand new Tommy Bahama polo shirt, excellent condition. Original price, one ten on sale in Macy's for sixty six dollars. Now that's a Macy's return sticker. Maybe I can return it to Macy's without the receipt and get a store credit and buy something for myself. Anyway, anyway, I paid half of ten. Look at that cool embroidery right there. Southern, no, not Southern Tide. Yeah, Southern Tide skipjack polo size. 40. That might be my size. If it fits me, I might keep it. But that's at least a $20 shirt. I paid $4.50 for it. And this Foot Joy Robert Trent Jones. Again, I, I know this is a local golf course. There are multiple. I know I usually don't pick up the embroidery, but that's a really good golf course. I'm telling you, Robert Trent Jones is a golf course you can pick up. Uh, on Foot Joy, and it was half of 10 so $5. I'm going to get at least at least 18 if not 20 and a Harley Davidson t-shirt I paid just two dollars I was surprised at that but that's a really cool picture right there so uh, 15 bucks and then this comp say somewhere between 35 to 40 I'm gonna shoot for somewhere between 30 and 35 because I don't know it's working condition and I'll state it as untested 
paid three dollars go for 30 and that's a really good flip that's it, boys and girls. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate you, and I hope you learned something new. Maybe you enjoyed yourself. Maybe you didn't. I don't know. But if you did, hit that subscribe button and come back next time. Y'all stay safe out there, and have fun picking.